Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check to make sure that your theme is creating only one H1 or one heading one tag per blog post or per page on your website. And the reason you want to do this is there should only be one H1 tag and the H1 tag is what Google looks for to get an indication as to what your content is about. And normally, What's included in your H1 tag should be what is in this title field inside the blog post or blog page editor. If there is more than one H1, Google gets confused. And so do other search engines that try to figure out what your content is about. So I've run into, into themes where the developer wasn't on top of their SEO and they had two H1 tags per page and per post. And that's not good. So I had, to, I, I had two choices. I had to either switch the theme or manually edit the theme by creating a child theme or editing it directly. I chose to switch the theme and I never went back to that developer's work again. Um, not that I don't have uh, anything against that developer. I just, I like that theme. It didn't do its SEO properly and I never encountered that guy again. So now all the themes I, I get, I make sure that the H1 tag is set up correctly. And the way you do this is you open the blog post or the blog page and you can do this in pretty much any browser. So what you want to do is anywhere on the page, uh, preferably outside of video elements and outside of images, anywhere on the white space of a page, right click and click on view page source. And either in a new tab or in a new window, we will see the content of our website. So at the very top, we have our title. And this is a very important spot to have our main keyword, which we do in this case. The Amazon S3 embed is the, the fictitious keyword I used for this post. And that title tag is usually the same, but not always the same as your H1 tag. And in fact, it's better if it's slightly different, but some, some themes don't allow you to make that distinction. So for some themes, they will take the title and the H1 tag from the title field in your blog post and page, and that's okay. If you do have the ability in your theme to change that so you can have a different title, I would write a slightly different title. Neither here nor there, we're looking for the H1. So when we're in this, um, in the source, what we want to do to find the H1 is hit either Control F, Command F, or go to the Edit menu and choose Find, and we want to type in the less than symbol and then H and then one. And don't do the closing tag, don't do the greater than at the end because what often happens is as we can see in our code here, the H1 has a class associated with it. And if you type in the greater than sign, then your search no longer functions, it's not there. So just keep it less than symbol H1. And then you, what you should be seeing is an H1 tag that has just the content from the, the title field on your poster page. And then it has a closing H1. And up here, it shows that this is one of one. And we want to make sure that there is only one of these per page. And you should check your pages. You, you should check one page and one post because those are different template files in a WordPress theme. So as long as you check one page and one post, and both of them only have one H1 tag, you're golden. Now there's also more tags. There's an H2, H3, all the way through to H6. And for those, you can have more than one. You don't need to have just one. You can have as many as you like for those, as, as many as make sense for your blog post. And those are also um, good places to have your keywords if you are using those other headings, they're not always appropriate for every post, but whenever they are appropriate, you should definitely add them with your keyword. And again, H2 through six, it doesn't matter how many of those you have, but you wanna make sure there's only one H1 tag in your source code. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get more awesome videos just like this and check out wplearninglab.com where I write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.